Hey guys, we have not done a lock video in so long, but I am actually about to do a braid out on my hair and I was just like, why not, you know, record it for you guys. I'm at my mom's house and if you hear the toilet running in the back, child, listen, I don't know what's going on, but we just gonna act like it's not running, basically. I'm about to do a braid out. I cannot tell y'all the last time I've done an actual braid out on my hair. It's been a really, really, really long time, okay? Like, a really long time. I definitely have not done one since I've cut my hair. If you're new here, I've had my hair for almost 17 years and I just cut it. Actually, not e let me not even say just. Oh my gosh, it's been almost a year. I think I need to do like an updated, like, cut cutting my hair video and just kind of like compare the length. I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like my hair has grown. So as you guys know, a braid out is more of a crinkly look rather than a curly look. But the good thing is that it's still gonna be like 2001. So let's just go ahead and get into it if you got locks. And even if you don't got locks and you're just here to support the channel, like let's get into this braid out. All right, so quickly for materials, the first thing that you're gonna need is this Lotta Body. And I got this from my local beauty supply store and they actually updated their label. Y'all remember, or their bottle, like they definitely updated updated the bottle to this really cute like modern looking print and it now has coconut and shea oils in it so this is the mousse that I'm going to be using I feel like any mousse would probably be good to be honest the biggest thing is really just making sure that your hair is wet not at least if you want maximum results you do need to make sure that you wet your hair so so I actually wet my hair in the shower I just got out and so my hair is still pretty wet but I also have my spray bottle so I would suggest that you use a spray bottle as well because this is going to basically just help keep it moist because my hair is like a sponge and it gets dry really quick. So I have my spray bottle here with just some water. There's nothing else in it. And then next I have some hair oil and this is the Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil. And I'm pretty much gonna be like using this on like the tips of my fingers to just make sure that my ends aren't, you know, getting like rough play too much, if that makes sense. So you guys will see what I do with the hair oil, but you can also put this on your hair, like on your scalp at the very end of the braid out as well, right before we go into the dryer. Last but not least, I also had to get a new pack of rubber bands. Now, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while then you know I'm not a huge fan of rubber bands to be honest because they actually ended up damaging my ends over the years with me using rubber bands so probably won't leave these in my hair maybe for like after two days I'll pull them off but I'll still keep the braids in until they start to kind of unravel on their own if that makes sense I don't know we're gonna see like I'm gonna try to gauge it but definitely I wouldn't recommend that you keep rubber bands in your hair for too long because it just causes way too much tension at the very ends of your hair and your locks will start to pop off at the end if you keep rubber bands in for weeks at a time so I would say five to seven days, like at the most. I'm not an expert though, y'all. Just because I got locks and I've had them forever, I'm not an expert, you know, ask a loctician. But this is literally me coming from experience. Before this style, we are gonna need rubber bands. And then I just bought some um, scrunchies as well, just to kind of separate my hair. So, you got the materials, let's get into the braid out. All right, so let's go ahead and put my hair into a ponytail. Y'all, I really do love these scrunchies. Like, I just feel like they are way more flexible. Like, you don't have to be worried about like pulling them too tight and them like popping. But I'm gonna try to leave same type in the description box because I just feel like they are just so much better, honestly. Like, I feel like they won't get tied up in your hair as much. It's just so many benefits of using the softer ones, so. Okay guys, so I have my six. Also, full disclaimer, y'all my hair is not clean okay i'm just being honest we are doing this on unwashed hair and to be honest i feel like it doesn't really make a difference it's really like personal preference like if you are one of those people who get kind of freaked out by your hair not being clean to do something like this go ahead and wash it i wet mine in the shower but i'm actually gonna go to get my hair done um soon and so i really just don't want to wash it like too close together so my hair is wet but if you notice it's a little you know if you see any build up or anything like that it's just because my hair is technically not clean so yeah this lot of body smells really good i'm gonna do six locks per braid whatever you want to call it so i'm gonna take my i can't see in the back of my head so obviously like they're not gonna be super symmetrical but i'm gonna get them as close as i can i have two in my hand each we're just gonna go for it gosh i haven't done a braid out in so long it feels so weird doing one I feel like hopefully it should be easier because my longer locks, they were never like 100% even at the bottoms anyway. So when I would do styles like this or when I would do like curls, my ends weren't even and so it would be kind of tedious to like tuck and figure out like how to do that. But hopefully this isn't the same thing because for the most part when she cut my hair, it was like, it was like very even. So that was pretty quick. And the braid is kind of big. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. All right, so I'm at the end. So I just put some oil on my fingertips. I'm gonna just rub it just like this to just make sure that my ends are getting 
getting some love because I feel like the ends don't ever really get love. A lot of people will tell you, you know, to make sure that you moisturize your, your um, scalp and sometimes they'll even tell you to go down the shaft of your lock. But people, I feel like people don't really talk about the very ends of your hair. Well, sometimes people don't focus on them because they're considered dead, right? Like locks essentially, once it grows, any hair, not even just locks, once it grows out of your scalp, it's considered like dead hair. I think that's why there's so much emphasis placed on um, scalp treatment and scalp health just because of the fact that like once it grows out of your head technically it's considered dead all right so i've secured it with the rubber band and this is what we're looking like like i said you may see some build up all right we got our first braid so hopefully this does not take forever so again i am taking my mousse you really just need like a pump to be honest that's enough right there i got my two here two here and two here so literally you just take them try to get it as close to the root as you can and then just kind of start y'all see all this new growth i got <laughs> like a retwist is overdue So for this one, we have a couple of ends kind of sticking out. I'm gonna try to avoid that as much as possible. The thing about the ends sticking out, it's not a horrible thing, but sometimes like you'll have this re really pretty crinkle and then out of nowhere, it'll get like real straight. So I just be trying to avoid that. So sometimes if you have some locks too that are like shorter than the other, when I get to the very end, I'll just like two strand twist the remaining together just so that they'll be secure. And then I'm gonna take my oil. I'm trying to multitask here, y'all. I got my oil on my fingers. And I'ma just rub those together. And that is it. We're gonna secure with a rubber band. And that's it, that's all. That's it, that's all, chill. All right, we got our two braids looking like pigtails, period. Hey y'all, so as y'all can see, I'm on the other side of my head now. I just wanna make a quick update. Check in with y'all real quick, tap in. This one is actually still toward the back of my head, but I'm actually in the middle of my hair now. And one observation that I've noticed is that when you're in like the center back part, like the back center, whatever you wanna call it, it's a lot harder because it's like you can't really lean to the left, you can't really lean to the right. So like naturally you want to hold the braids and like hold the locks in the middle of your hair and use both hands and braid down like like this but it's hard to do it that way y'all so and my neck is hurting a little bit that's another update <laughs> for the most part it's actually going by quick so i'm happy about that Woo! arm break y'all you gotta have some freaking arm juice to push this out honey i really do not have a whole lot left honestly i don't know why i haven't been doing braid outs a long time ago like when i tell y'all the reason that i got locks is because i am a very lazy hair girl i need the most minimal like that's one thing that i've just learned about myself and i'm okay with that i feel like people have so much of a routine for every part of their lives that like it can be kind of overwhelming and it'll, it feels kind of intimidating if you don't have a routine if that makes sense so like with me and my hair you know like i keep it very just minimal like the stuff that i do to my hair I don't overdo it. I don't over manipulate. Like you won't see me doing a whole lot to my hair on a consistent basis. And I feel like that's like a good habit, but then sometimes it's like not a good habit, especially like when I was younger, I didn't have a routine for my hair. And so a lot of the damage that happened to my locks happened when I was like younger. And then as a result, you know, it kind of showed as an adult, but I just feel like do the routine that works for you because you'll see these girls on, you know, social media and they'll have you going out to buy eight different oils for your hair, you know, five different brushes 
brushes and just all this different stuff like they'll have you thinking that your routine is not enough and I just feel like no like literally do what works for you and I have learned that I'm a lazy hair girl so I'm not about to go and get 10 million different things to keep my hair maintained like whatever works for me is what I'm gonna do so if that means me just using two products once a week then that's what I'm gonna do like I'm not about to go out and fall into all these trends just because that's what people are doing on TikTok and it looks aesthetic and it looks you know whatever like because sometimes when you overdo you end up like messing up your hair you know what I mean so I don't know I just or either that or like you end up not being consistent and then you start beating yourself up because you're thinking that you don't have a good enough routine and it's like well whole time that routine probably wasn't even the routine for you you know like that was something that may work for other people or to be honest like sometimes people will like do stuff just because it looks good online you know like I'm not saying that everybody's out here lying like some people really just might have very intricate like specific routines that have five to ten different products you know but my point is like don't beat yourself up if you don't have that same routine like do what works for you you know ask people for advice but like don't let that be the holy grail like don't let that be the end all be all so that's my message for the girls today like do what works for you and I'm here to tell y'all that I am a very lazy hair girl if I'm if I'm being honest so as long as I have a good hair oil as long as I'm misting my hair with water honestly like there's not too much else to my routine you don't have to come and be 100% perfect no set of locks is gonna be perfect nobody's locks are perfect <laughs> let me just put it like that when you put too much into your routine you won't be consistent with it and I feel like that goes for anything like hair skin you know lifestyle whatever like if you if there are too many steps you are not gonna be consistent with it so again I feel like just do what works for you like let the 5 a.m. girlies do their thing right and if you're a 9 a.m. girly that's okay wake up at 9 and do what you gotta do basically my message in this is just don't do what's quote-unquote aesthetic or what's trending like do what you know you can be consistent with like whatever that looks like and that goes for hair that goes for anything so if you got your maybe just two holy girl products for your lock stick with those two holy girl products if that's making your hair flourish stick with that y'all guess who only has two left i'm looking like angelica let me give you guys my observations as i finish up first of all my back is on fire okay that's what i would say like if you i mean obviously i'm having to stand up because i'm filming this but if you have like standing mirror like a full body mirror or something in your room i would highly suggest that you like just get a chair and sit it in front of the mirror and do it that way because your back on hurt sis and your feet <laughs> but i'm happy to say that this actually did not take it really didn't take that long if you have locks and you know you want a cute style but maybe your hair is not retwisted so your roots aren't looking like super fresh this is i feel like a really good go-to so y'all this is it i feel like i look like buckwheat <laughs> yeah y'all this is what my braids are looking like let me show you guys a close-up so this is what they're looking like And so now I'm about to put some lot of body. I'm actually gonna spray it straight onto my hair. Cause they say a lot of body get a girl's a lot of body. So is this something that the lot girls are supposed to be doing? Cause why that phone looking like it ain't drying up? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Woo, next thing I know my hair is on the flow, child. So I'm gonna check back in with you guys once. It's been some days. When I check back in, I'm gonna let you guys know how long I have let the hair sit before I take it out. All right, I'm just rambling. I'm rambling, rambling, rambling. See y'all in a few days. Alright y'all, so this is what 
that rinse up is giving. Disclaimer, y'all. I have literally had my braids in for two weeks. I took my rubber bands out maybe a week-ish ago and, you know, just let the ends breathe. I didn't want to keep my rubber bands in for too long. I'm trying to practice what I preach. Disclaimer, let me just go on and put this out here. Let me go on and put this out here right now. I have buildup at my roots. So y'all can kind of see it from here. And not gonna lie, it looks kind of bad. I'm like not very happy <laughs> about the way it looks. And it got a nerd to be right in the front. So yeah, y'all don't be like me. You know, I did see a lot of videos where people were doing this on clean hair. So I would 100% recommend that you do that. But the reason that I did it is because my hair was a mess and I just needed something to just make it look better. This is how it came out. I feel like it is so pretty. Let me give y'all a close up. Okay, definition, nice and wavy. So I guess it is true that a lot of body gives the girls a lot of body. Just quick tips. Number one, do not leave your rubber bands in for too long. Even after I took my rubber bands out, I was still good to go. Like my hair wasn't unraveling or nothing like that. Tip number two, I would say make sure that you wrap your hair up at night because it really does make a difference as far as your sleeping, you know? Like with, like if you're not used to like thicker locks, it just kind of feels like you have thicker flats in your hair. And so to me, it was kind of bothering me when I was asleep, but I slept a lot better when I had my bonnet on. So I would definitely recommend that you sleep with your bonnet. Tip number Number three, what else would I tell you guys? Do this on clean hair. <laughs> if you don't want buildup at your roots, make sure you do this on clean hair. Aside from that though, I absolutely love these results. I feel like they came out very pretty and I feel like it was worth the wait. So I'm gonna enjoy my hair for maybe the next week until I get my hair retwisted. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm super proud of myself because I was very intentional. I would not take my braids out until I knew I had an opportunity to actually come on camera and sort of like record the results and stuff with you guys let me know what other type of lock content you want to see on my channel and with that i will see you guys on my next one bye